All right, what I want to do in this video is I want to take a closer look at SDR for Space. Um, I think it's a really good application that has had some new examples added, and uh, I've used it in the past to automate um, looking at RF and putting results into um, a spreadsheet and uh, a graphical, a visual uh, image of the of the results. So we're going to look a little more at doing that, but also automating uh, recording IQ data when uh, something reaches a, a preset uh, power level, basically. So I think that this could automate a lot of things and it could be built upon. And, uh, and this time we're going to take a look at using the RTL SDR and the Pluto SDR. So if you have Dragon OS Focal, the latest release, and you look in the SDR for space directory, you'll see there's the app image there, and that's what we're going to use. You're also going to see there's an example folders. So to kind of follow along with this, uh, at least at the time of watching this video, if you do a, a git pull in this directory, uh, which I've already done, you'll pull the latest uh, from the git repository uh, for the examples directory, which is what we're going to use. Uh, we're just going to focus on the Rx folder, and uh, you'll notice I've already made a, a sim link here, which really isn't needed in this particular example. I'll show it used later and then why I think it's needed. But uh, this is just a um, symbolic link to the actual uh, app image. Uh, but, but anyways, what we're going to take a look at, uh, I use Nano. Uh, you can use whatever you want to edit the file. You can see here, this is uh, initially set up for the r sdr and a uh, trigger value of negative 43 on the power. And um, you can kind of read down through if you're good with JavaScript, you can probably modify this. You can see where it's calling the either the r sdr or the Pluto SDR, which is all that uh, kind of works with right now that I know of, at, at least the light. Edition. And this is all pre-set up for, uh, I'm going to try and transmit PogSec with the HackRF uh, just to get this to go. Uh, but realistically, I'd probably get a better result on real stuff because the HackRF is you know, sitting really close. It's probably not the most ideal setup here. Uh, you can read down through. You can see where you can set the center freak here, which is 466. The files that it's going to write to the temp directory. And it's going to split apart. If you look at what it's doing here, uh, you can see there where the bandwidth is and how it's doing a slice of that bandwidth and center. And so if you look at the SDR for space uh, light uh, docu documentation, you can begin to see what all these different settings do and how it also offsets from the center, I assume, to maybe for the DC spike or something. Uh, it's got some uh, comments off to the side there so you can see what it's doing. Here's the RMS. Uh, when that uh, the trigger is greater, then it starts the recording and then it writes the samples to the output queue. And yeah, so and the Git page has a little more, and the README has a little more information on how this is going to work. So we'll just we'll just leave it set up for the RTL SDR right now. And if I look with Soapy, uh, this command here, I'm going to see I've got the HackRF, Pluto SDR, and the RTL SDR plugged in right now on the laptop. And um, and so right now, I should, I should have mentioned that, or I think I did, maybe the SDR for Space Lite is uh, for the x86-64-bit Dragon OS. Um, maybe eventually there will be a release for the um, Raspberry Pi or for the Arch64 ARM platform. So just keep that in mind. All right, so we've got the RTL SDR plugged in. I'm going to avoid using the sim link for right now, and I'll just um, basically go up two directories and use the SDR for Space Light application, and then a dash F. And this is why uh, I've done that. I guess I could go the other way and be where right where the sp SDR for Space is. Do a dash F and uh, pass this file in here. This is going to start up the virtual uh, the virtual machine, the virtual JavaScript machine, SDR for space. And so that's taking control of the RTL SDR. And you can see here it's running and there's no example or uh, no signal right now. Hasn't hasn't exceeded that uh, number that we set. 
So uh, I'm going to pull up another terminal window here, and I'm going to go to the user source GR mix a lot examples because there is a uh, let's see, we'll do GNU Radio Companion. We'll do the one that's Hacker F. There's already an example set up, and I just used this the other day, so I know it works. We need to change the parameter to string, otherwise you'll get an error, and this won't work. We need to bump up the power a little bit. Let's see, I have gain, BB gain. I always get it mixed up as to what's... We'll take, we'll go... 30 on that for a second and we need to change the variable frequency we'll change that to 466 get rid of that uh, 7 and put a 0 there okay and and so everything is just uh, pretty much right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transmit with hacker F and look to see if I can uh, break that threshold which will start the recording so here we go save this to our desktop Keep an eye over here once it runs. Oop. So we can see it's running. It exceeded that threshold. It's recording. Take a look at it one more time. Plan. It's recording. So you can see how you could uh, modify that and maybe make it work, well, obviously, for different frequencies, different setups, different slices of the frequency. So let's stop that. And what that does is if we look in the temp directory, We've now got our two files there that it created. This is the one that we're gonna like focus on. Now the signal might not be that clean because I've got the hack RF here and it's just not, like I said, an ideal setup. So it might not look like you'd expect. But if we use Inspectrum, which is also under other, you could open it there and then browse uh, the files directory. Um, basically using this and then going to temp and opening it that way or you can just do it from the command line uh, in spectrum and point to the file and you might have to play with the settings some I'm gonna guess that uh, this is probably what we captured here I'm, I'm by no means a pro on in spectrum here, uh, but let's see. Let's see what we get if we. So, anyways, uh, the the point of this was uh, not to really dig too far into a spectrum, uh, although this is a really uh, powerful tool. The focus was more on setting up SDR for space uh, to automatically record. And now you could do that with the Pluto SDR as well. So if we go back into our user uh, for space examples RX and we use sudo and we come down here we uncomment the Pluto SDR line and comment the RTL SDR line we might have to mess with the trigger value uh, unless I hook up the same antenna to the Pluto SDR we'll leave everything else as is and we'll run it one more time here this time we should be using we see the top is different and we can see the values are a little different here because uh, I'm using a different antenna so let's see let's run it okay so what we'll do is we'll temporarily could change the trigger value for one. Uh, we'll, we'll 
see what the result is here now. Okay. All right, so we need to lower Try array. Let's try 49. Start it back up. Nope. Let's see. Try one more time. No. Yeah. go. Recording the Pluto SDR automatically. Alright, stop. All right, so uh, there we go. All right, so that was with the SDR or the RTL SDR and then a Pluto SDR. And we can close this. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at the spectrum directory here and we'll look at the wide spectrum. And we'll take a look at the JS file for this, see what it's set up for. So Right now, it's set up for the RTL SDR. We're going to be looking at 88 to 108 megahertz. And what this is going to do is automatically make that CSV file. And then the uh, GNU plot's going to pop up automatically. So let's see. I'll get the RTL SDR set back up. Now, this is where the Simlink is going to come in handy, so you won't have that Simlink there. Uh, right here, you won't have that by default. So if I remove that, and you'll see that you'll have something like this. You just do a sudo ln-s, and we use user source sdr for space, sdr for space light image, and then again on this side, user source sdr space examples are rx spectrum uh, let's see wide spectrum yes yeah there we go and that'll put that there and so the reason why you need it there and maybe there's another way to do it is because it's going to call on this file but then later it's also going to look for this so that's how I've been using it so let's do a dash f this is going to look at those frequencies and the steps that it's set for. So you can see it's going through, starts at 88. Shouldn't take too long. It's going to look at that, that range there. And then we should expect to see a graphical plot uh, jump up that's interactive. Bam, right there. So now we can see 88 to 108. You can hover over. And so these numbers should match. If we look in the temp directory, we'll find a CSV file now. And so you'd probably have to come down through and look at those numbers. Um, Okay, there we go. So if we look, we got 88. We're getting kind of close to it lining up here, which is the negative uh, that we see 
there you have to go kind of slow and look at that there we go you can see we're 35 34 33 so right in there we can see that this matches the graph here that was created and so let's do it one more time uh, but this time we'll take a look at using the Pluto SDR so if we do pseudo nano spectrum JS let's uncomment the sample rate for the Pluto SDR comment for the RTL SDR and then we'll take care of the Pluto SDR driver comment out the RTL SDR and you'll notice that the frequency start uh, end and the FFT uh, you can adjust those as well and uh, as well the gain also but this line here makes it I think more friendly to switch back and forth between the two so it kind of does the math and the step uh, for you and yeah everything else should be taken taken care of uh, moving between the two so now if we run it again and we'll set up the Pluto SDR Okay, run it again. Now it's going to use the Pluto SDR. Going to go a little faster stepping through because uh, it's got that uh, higher sample rate. And so now, now we're looking at the uh, graph from the Pluto SDR. And again, same thing. You can browse and look for the uh, accompanying CSV file. Here we go. Okay, and so that's just a few examples. I think there's a lot more that uh, you can do with the um, SDR for space light um, on the uh, satellite side of things. Uh, I don't necessarily have an antenna or the setup for that right now, but uh, I'm definitely going to take a look at this and automate some things and see what else can be done with this. All right, thank you.